Dollar two dagger and dollar to ski one one sixty one and two dollar dagger and sixty two now three dollar sixty four dollar five and dollar sixty five you mocked and sixty six here now dagger and sixty six here now seven dollar sixty eight down dagger and sixty eight dollar now nine I get dollar twenty two now two quarter dagger and how will it be twenty two quarter now half here seventy five twenty three dollar I got thirty two half at three now three now three sell them a dollar thirty two half but I'm on one sixty nine My name is Zach Zumstein and I am a professional auctioneer. I primarily work at Treasure Valley Livestock as a cattle auctioneer. My job is to talk up the cattle as they walk in, tell them the good points about them, um, work with the buyers, and market those cattle to the best of my ability. And I think it's the best way for you to find the true market value of those animals by just running them through a ring and basically letting the free market decide what those calves are worth. How pretty you sound, it probably adds credibility to you, but I know a lot of great auctioneers that probably aren't the best bid callers. Ultimately, your job is to get the most money that you can for the product in front of you. And then you add in your filler words, and that's what everybody likes is what makes it sound pretty. Dollar down, dear Dow, or dollar bitter down here. I got tame, but I want 20. It helps keep your chant together. When I was a little kid growing up here around the yard, I always would tell my folks that when I grew up, I was going to be a cattle auctioneer. You can make a career with it totally. It takes a lot of work, and I was extremely fortunate to have a family business where I could come in. You can kind of look at their backs, and you can see how fleshy the cow is and get a pretty good idea for what they're gonna bring. I can kind of guess. A cow like that right there is probably worth, oh, 700 bucks. And this longhorn cow right here, she's probably worth somewhere around 300 to $400. I think an order buyer could spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of those feeder calves are going to be worth over a thousand dollars a piece, and they go in and buy. It only only take a few seconds to spend fifty thousand or more. I'm a commission buyer, and this this time of year is our busy year. It's it's pretty easy to spend you know uh, hundred two hundred thousand a day, five days a week. <laughs> Every buyer bids a little bit differently. Some of them are coming watch you like this, and other ones just barely move their finger. I try to keep track and keep a hand kind of pointed to the guy who's in or the guy I'm asking. It's a really mentally intense job. I'm going to be doing my best to market these people's cows. This is a lot of time, it's the only paycheck that they'll get all year. We need these auctions, especially us small guys, because these cattle buyers don't want to come and buy 15 head of calves. They want to come and buy two or 300. If he's a good auctioneer, he can, he can really work them buyers and get you a few more cents. I think it, that if you want to do this, you might as well go for it and, and be the best, and that's what I'm trying to do. I just got done qualifying to make it to my third semifinals to be the world champion, so that's one of my goals that I'd like to do someday. Pet the baby calf? I would love it if he wanted to be an auctioneer. I'd help him out, kind of teach him a little. I think he'd, you can see how audible he is. I think he might like to do it. If 40, he might get it now, it be $40 down, $45 beer, and I get it now, it be $45. If 45, he might get it done $50 bill. I sold him to Leo. I sold him to Leo. You bought a goat for 45 bucks. <laughs>